else. Florida's attorney general is defending the ban, and he's joining us live with all the details. Laurie, this critical court hearing just ended a few minutes ago. If you look across the street, you can see people still filing out of the courthouse. These were people in the courtroom of Judge Sarah Zabel, passionate supporters of the gay marriage ban. Dozens of people lined up early outside courtroom 6-1. So many workers had to open an overflow courtroom. If the spectators came for fireworks, they were probably disappointed. Your Honor, the voters in 2008 made a, a policy decision which they had the right to do as to what the definition of marriage should be in the state of Florida. They have that right and it's not for this court to second guess or make a determination whether that was a good policy or a bad policy. It remains for this court simply to follow what is binding legal precedent from the U.S. Supreme Court. Florida's ban on same-sex marriage, one which brought supporters to downtown Miami. CBS 4 Cynthia Dimas was in court for the proceedings and joins us live. The latest, Cynthia? Well, right now, Elliot, the judge has decided not to decide. This just wrapped up 15 minutes ago. She said she will take everything under advisement and make some kind of ruling later. When? She didn't specify. But the attorney for the Office of the Attorney General said in 2008, Florida voters decided to define marriage as between a man and a woman, and the Florida Constitution should be upheld. They have that right, and it's not for this court to second guess or make a determination whether that was a good policy or a bad policy. And representatives from conservative groups spoke out. What they don't have the right to do is to ask one judge, one judge, to throw out the votes of 8 million people. Now, the judge did hear both sides for an hour and 45 minutes. Whatever she decides to do in this case, there will be an automatic appeal to the 3rd DCA. In downtown Miami, I'm Cynthia Dimas, CBS 4 News. Details. Robin. This was a huge draw, about 140 people inside the judge's courtroom, another 110 in an overflow courtroom, and even more sitting in the hallway, all of them just wanting to be here on this day. I just want this to be orderly, and everybody please um, to be respectful and mindful of the time that we have. Judge Sarah Zabel's Miami courtroom ground zero for the fight in Florida. One look at the courthouse steps and it's clear battle lines have been drawn. Anthony Verdugo of Christian Family Coalition points to the 2008 referendum in which 62% of Florida voters agreed to ban gay marriage in the state. If those who disagree with the results of the election want to go ahead and get signatures and put the question on the ballot, they're free to do so. They have that right. What they don't have the right to do is to ask one judge, one judge, to throw out the votes of 8 million people. In court, arguments from both sides. Outside after the hearing wrapped up, dueling protests, each side convinced of their chance for success. Of God and what's right is right. I'm going to stand on this solid. I'm not waving. I'm not going nowhere. You see, we have today, we, we, we might not be an army, but we are few, but we standing here today solid, believing what we believe in. You got kids over here believing this here. What about our kids group? One thing everyone agrees on, whenever Judge Zabel announces her ruling, it's still not over. Regardless of the decision, whether it's upheld or not, there will be an automatic appeal to the third DCA. You heard him say the third DCA, that is the third district court of appeals. So whatever decision Judge Zabel makes will go to that court. As far as when that decision will happen, we'll just have to wait for it. Respect here. It's respect for democracy. Respect for democracy.